Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we try to introduce a very simple uh, data analysis app uh, created using Python and Streamlet. So, um, what you could see here is basically automated data exploration. What you need to do is just simply drag and drop your data file here, or simply browse uh, the file and just uh, open it. Once the file is open, you can see the data set here. In this case, we're using uh, uh, a diabetes uh, data set, which is one of the uh, well-known uh, data set. The target here is one or, or zero and one indicating that the, the patient has diabetes otherwise not. So once uh, the data is uploaded straight away, the automated data uh, report is generated. It's very informative uh, report here. And also, uh, we have a menu bar here, uh, which has two um, additional tasks. The two items here. The first is uh, the first item is data classification. By just clicking in this button, then you can basically uh, uh, classify the data, um, split the data into 80-20 um, uh, ratio. And then, in this case, we use three different classifiers. As you can see here, we use random first. The accuracy is about 97.7%. Uh, this is the confusion matrix, that the uh, uh, true positive, true negative, and, 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 and false positive, false negative. This is also support vector machine here, which is about 76.6, .6, surprisingly. You can see this is logistic regression, and you can add more classifiers, of course. Here is just to uh, look at the best classifier. Uh, the idea here is to look in, into a bunch of classifiers and, and to see which classifier can produce the best result. Uh, beside that also we can do feature uh, analysis by just clicking on feature analysis then you can know which feature uh, is the most important features. And for data uh, related to diabetes for example, a physician would be interested to know if there is any strong correlation between um, uh, the predictors or the uh, attributes here and whether the, the the patient will have diabetes or not. If you could see here, uh, glucose, for example, as you may guess that, is uh, um, highly correlated uh, with the, um, the target and also the age. So um, in here, uh, let's see how this uh, app, simple app is created. So, let's see how this app is created and we start it from the top here. First of all, you can uh, simply, um, let's just uh, view our uh, terminal here. So, um, uh, basically you can uh, start by um, installing some dependencies here, you could see. Uh, first of all, we have our streamlet, um, we import it as ST. So uh, also there is a uh, pandas, uh, seaborn. Uh, of course, there are some visualization uh, 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 tools because we just saw how the uh, attribute is um, uh, displayed in a in a histogram. Also, we we need uh, of course uh, some pandas profiling here in order to generate the automated uh, data exploration report. And then we have, of course, some machine learning uh, libraries that could run support vector machine, random first and rest, logic, logistic regression, and, and else. So um, uh, from here, then the first thing is to, uh, of course, create a title for our uh, page here. And in this case, uh, we call it data analysis app. Then we create our menu. Uh, basically, what you need is to create a menu with uh, and in this case, we have three uh, items in our menu. First of all, is data automatic exploration. We have data classification. We have feature uh, analysis as well. So this is uh, a sidebar to be, uh, you know, uh, not in the main page, but basically in the sidebar. And then um, if we uh, click on uh, data automatic uh, exploration, basically, we use uh, pandas here. First of all, we upload the file, whether it's uh, 
uh, CSV or um, uh, just Excel uh, file. And then um, uh, also the second thing is to explore the data, to uh, uh, use uh, the uh, profile report in order to generate uh, the automated uh, profile here uh, using the uh, Pandas profiling um, app. And then um, uh, the second step here, if also data classification is is also selected from the from the main, then in this case also uh, we assume that uh, the last column is always the the target, and that's why we separate the data into X and Y. Y basically is a target, and the rest of the X is the uh, predictors. Then we split the data here into 80, uh, 20 uh, into training and testing data set, and then we perform. Uh, the classification using three different classifiers. In this case, we have, we use random forest support vector uh, machines and logistic regression. Uh, uh, followed uh, that, of course, we, we calculate the accuracy and the confusion matrix as well. But uh, also, uh, we could select the, uh, the feature analysis uh, in order to see which feature contributes the most. And in this case, again, um, uh, from the file, uh, we again assume uh, the last is the uh, the last attribute is the is the target, and then based on that we perform um, uh, you know feature analysis. You see here the feature important uh, based on random forest because random forest also uh, can give you a clue on which attributes actually contributed the most for the classifier to, uh, in order to identify this, um, uh, which class to go for. So the correlation between each and every attribute and the final target or class. And based on that, of course, we can uh, create a figure and plot uh, the histogram to see which, uh, you, you can just visually see which of these um, attributes is the most important one. So uh, to run, uh, streamlet is simply you can just type uh, streamlet streamlet and then uh, run and then you put the file name basically here we call it uh, in our case data 1py right once we click into this then straight away uh, the streamlet will streamlet will um, you know it's running here but it will show the interface for uh, our app and the app is up and running here. We could uh, simply just uh, upload the data and straight away you can see the data displayed here. Uh, you see this, are the, this is the target as we mentioned. If it's one, the patient has diabetes, otherwise zero, that means not. Um, uh, and also these are the other uh, attributes. So you can visualize the whole data set and in this case I think uh, we have uh, nearly uh, 776 uh, cases and also we have our menu here you can see the data automated exploration the one uh, we are uh, doing now and we have also data classification and feature analysis so our automated uh, analysis is done and you could see here uh, it gives you uh, all kind of details about the data set. For example, number of variables are nine. These are the number of observations. There is no missing um, uh, cells, and, and, and these are the percentage of missing cells. This is zero, and and, and many more. Um, the last uh, item here um, is the target, and that's why we can have it as a category, whether it's, uh, the patient has diabetes or not, and then we have other eight predictors or uh, uh, variables or attributes. Then, of course, here you can explore any of the uh, variables you see here. For example, we'd like to see um, uh, the BMI. Then uh, all the, the, all the uh, you know, uh, statistics reflected in here. For example, what's the minimum value, what's the maximum value, and, 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 and if there is missing value or not, uh, what's the uh, 
uh, for example the mean of the values and so forth whether they are zeros or not in this case we have 11 uh, zero values which is about 1.4 percent of the overall um, uh, number of uh, instance then uh, this is quite interesting here because you can see the interaction or the correlation let's say here this is the correlation between age and uh, pregnancies you can see these are the pregnancies these are the age you can of course see for example age and uh, blood pressure for example uh, age and uh, bmi uh, age and insulin and so forth and of course you can switch this is glucose and i don't know blood pressure and uh, you know you can you can see the correlation this is the correlation also uh, represented here you can see it in a table and also you can see it in a heat map uh, you could see here for example there is a, a correlation between age and uh, pregnancies for example uh, you could see it here also age and pregnancies there is also uh, other uh, you know uh, correlation for example between the skin uh, thickness and insulin and so forth um, uh, there is no missing uh, entries here also you could see the uh, first 10 uh, rows at least if you want to explore uh, your data and here you can see the last uh, also uh, rows as well okay so um, this is pretty nice exploration and uh, I think it's quite helpful uh, uh, and, and automated in the first place of course for data scientists they need this information in order to know the next step whether the data is normalized, well, the data has many missing entries and all that kind of uh, problems that need attention before running uh, any machine learning uh, uh, methods. So here we can also, as we mentioned, we can do uh, classification. Uh, in this case, we run three classifiers, as we mentioned here, uh, run the first uh, uh, support vector classifier or support vector machine here. Uh, you can see the accuracy and the confusion matrix and also uh, the logistic regression. Um, of course, you can run uh, multiple uh, classifiers. We did not do any kind of, uh, of uh, feature uh, uh, engineering or we, we did not do anything about tuning uh, the parameters of this, uh, you know, uh, classifiers. Of course, you could do that to improve even the accuracy uh, further. Um, uh, you can add that to your program easily and the second thing here is uh, also to do feature analysis so what I could do I just click on feature analysis then straight away I have statistics about um, uh, the uh, attributes this is a kind of a the correlation we just saw uh, previously but here you can also see the uh, you know the importance of the features as we mentioned earlier glucose as you might uh, expect is one of, of the very important uh, features here in this case uh, we use random forest uh, based on random forest we selected this uh, the importance of feature uh, of features but also you can use different uh, technique for uh, feature importance and there are many you can implement any and then you can also look at you can compare uh, what kind of uh, uh, you know uh, importance that the different uh, feature uh, selection or feature um, uh, importance techniques uh, provided and then you can do some uh, voting and see which which one is uh, uh, the most agreed uh, attribute that contributing directly to whether the, uh, the patient has diabetes or not it's quite this is the app is quite interesting and quite simple as well uh, I hope you find it uh, useful I'm gonna uh, leave the uh, program in the description below you can feel free to modify it and, and add more features to it if you find this video uh, interesting for you and if you reach this stage and still watching that it, that means it is interesting to you please subscribe to the channel so you can uh, uh, view more uh, videos like this and also for supporting uh, the channel so we can uh, uh, carry on so hope to see you in the next video Thank you very much.